day, good morning, and welcome to Fresh. Fresh. This week's show is brought to you by us, Tutu, Tutu on, on the Beach, and also the horsemen of the apocalypse, Mate Maatonga. And here's what's coming up on the show. Can't wait to see more Polynesians in, in Hollywood. We have some of the greatest stories and mythologies in the world. As you can see, us stalkers like to keep it fresh, like these next guys. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, us stalkers like to keep it fresh, like these next guys. Oh, and thank you for that, Jason and Hopoate. And uh, next time, don't you call me fresh, eh? Come be off. I'll smash you. Those are more for life. Anyway, we're now going to go to the deep underwater with the better looking Jason. That's right, Jason Mamoy. Uh, Jason Moa Moa. I feel like a mom. Come and join us with the man himself, Mr. Aquaman. Blah, 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 blah. Permission to come aboard. Uh, Chalofa, kia ora. Uh, great to see you uh, chasing more and more. First time in real life. I can't believe it, you know. I'm a big fan. I mean, I mean I'm a big everything. But uh, just uh, want to thank you for being part of Fresh TV. Uh, all the people in New Zealand, all the Polynesians will love you. And I was thinking, I want to ask you, you know, what was it like for you to feel the first uh, Polynesian superhero? Sorry, how does it feel to be the first Bolognese superhero? Sorry, my wife wrote that. She's nervous when she's here. I can't get into it. <laughs> it is an absolute honor. Uh, it's the coolest thing in the world. I saw the movie earlier today. Yeah? You know, I was thinking, if there's an Aquaman too, and you and, and I can be part of it, what which part would I play? Uncle. Uh, uncle? Uncle. Uh, <laughs> my wife said I might be a sea lion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other thing I was thinking, because I know you love New Zealand, you was acting also with uh, one of Samoa's favorite actors. We call him uh, Temu Mo Molisi Sonne, but uh, New Zealand call him Temuera Morrison. Uh, what was it like to act with uh, Temuera? He was my inspiration growing up. He's my one of my favorite actors, and so I wanted him to play my father. And uh, obviously, we grew up with, I still think Once More Warriors is one of the best performances ever, and so it was an honor. And I love him very much, and so much that I took him from Aquaman and I put him on my show in Frontier, and he got to be on that show and fight with a Tai Han. I, there's two actors that I want to do everything with, and Tamora is one of them, so. Uh, and I'm the other one? Nope. No, no, no. We just met, but you know, okay. yeah, Aquaman come too. on, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I, I know you love New Zealand, Aotearoa. Do you, who do you support most, the Old Blacks or the Kahuku Raiders? You know what? I'm sorry, Kahuku, because you know I have family that's on that, but uh, I'm an All Blacks fan. Yeah, well, that's what I'm. Talking I like to about. support both, though, bro. Yeah, yeah. No, I like Kahuku Raiders too. Yeah. Hey. So what, what is uh, some word of encouragement you can give to some of our Polynesian young people all around the world who is want to you know, achieve their goals and aspire to be an actor like yourself? Well, with anything, it's practice, practice, practice. And if you truly want to become something and you, you love what you do, you got to work at it. It take me 20 years to get here. So you got to keep, keep, keep working at it. Yeah. The really cool thing I want to tell the Polynesians is that we have some of the greatest stories and mythologies in the world. And uh, I think it's time for us to be telling our stories and spread them around the world and share them with the world. So I encourage more. I can't wait to see more yeah. Polynesians in, in Hollywood. And then one of the things I really love about movies is a lot of, you know, slowly bringing in the Polynesian content, you know, some, like the Tamuko and things like that. Yeah. I think it's great, you know, and uh, I just want to thank you for the opportunity for me to meet you today and to in possibility of us to doing a movie together, you know, Absolutely. like, yeah, yeah, I think so. I think we can just write up a contract now and so tell me, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much, Jason. I love you. I love and you. I hope you live up to your name because I know all the kills was chasing you around as cool. Ah, Jason, Jason, ha <laughs> ha! 
All right. I love you. Thank you. I love you, brother. <laughs> I am the protector of the deep. Wow, what an amazing movie. I really got a goosebumps watching that one. And you know what? I'm sure you are happy with that because that's our first ever Polynesian superhero. And I'm sure it's a real honor and privilege for him to meet me in a real person. But right now, I've got Tutu on the beach telling me I need to cut it off. But talking about the beach, we are now going to swim like an aqua man. Like that. We will swim to Tahiti. Reporting you live here in Sydney on Fresh TV. The ocean is a big part of my life. What I love to do is freediving with sharks, taking underwater pictures. The reef area where I used to go swimming when I was a little kid, it's not the same anymore. And uh, now when I go swimming at the same area, the reef is bleached. So with our two goals, coral reef restoration and awareness, we, we, we think we can try to make a difference. We are coral gardeners in French Polynesia. We are young surfers and fishermen. The ocean and the coral reef give us everything in our life. So yeah, like my little brother say, the ocean, coral reef, they, they give us the best moment of our life, surfing reef break. And seeing the ocean coral reef uh, dying, we, we wanted to do something. So we all gathered around this project, creating Coral Gardeners. It's an NGO, and we have two goals. Our first goal is raising awareness. We think is the key. Uh, like to do that, we hold some stands, we go to classrooms, and we make some conferences. Yeah, the idea is like uh, raising awareness it's how we can change the mindset and make a difference. We want to create a worldwide movement where everyone will be able to be a part of the solution. So our second goal is uh, called uh, coral reef restoration. So what we do, we are collecting broken pieces of coral, which are uh, broken by uh, storms or humans. So we will uh, collect these broken pieces of coral, put them on our nursery table. They will be with bamboo tutors and uh, during three weeks, they will stay on this uh, nursery table so that they can acclimate their cell. The little coral can grow all around the bamboo. And when it's uh, enough uh, stick fixed to the bamboo, uh, we will be able to plant these little pieces of coral back into a damaged reef. So we choose a dead potato coral. We'll drill some hole on, at the top of this dead coral and uh, then put the little uh, pieces of coral at the top. We are all responsible of global warming. That's wha what kills corals, kills the ocean. And uh, we are all also breathing the oxygen coral reef and the ocean produce. Our dream will be with our project to, to be able to inspire the world to take action. Like, yeah, we are 14 to 25 years old and it's not because we are young that we, we can't do great things. And, when you have passion for something and you, you dream enough, enough big, you, you can create good, good things. Let's, Let's save, save the, the reef. reef! Okay, Freshies, it's time for a message. Make sure you come back after the break. It's a chance for us to not only represent ourselves and our family, but um, something that's bigger than us. Crystal, where are you? I'm, I'm right here. I'm where? I'm standing in the meadow. Me too. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Where are you? No, I'm in the middle of the mall. Oh, no, you're not. You're behind me. Could you see my angry thinking wrong about me? When I'm with my homies, we just sip and conversate. Marlo, welcome back to Fresh. Josh and Knox here with the mighty MMT. So let's go and find out more about these guys. Lucipi or Lottie Horse? Horse. All day, every day. Uh, I'll go Lucipi. <laughs> Lucipi or Lu Horse? Lucipi. Lottie Horsey. Lucipi. Why is that? Why is that? Just nice, nice and knuckle. Mm. Uh, especially with the coconut cream. 
if you buy a house and have a little sleepy. Is there a specific reason why? You know, the textures, eh? When it hits its, hits its taste buds, it's get that tingling sensation. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know you're a Tongan when you rock up to a wedding through hearing someone else's invitation. You eat horse. <laughs> you eat horse. <laughs> you heard it right there. <laughs> you're driving around with red flags on your car. Everyone says they're your cousin. <laughs> it's fan days and people ask for your gear like, oh yeah, mom, your cousin. I mean, <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> I'm looking for food every hour. <laughs> Always hungry. What makes Tongans the warriors of the Pacific? Very strong people. Uh, you know, very family orientated, uh, like warriors should be. Size? Mm. Not a lot of big boys. Uh, all islanders, you know, we're all massive. So, yeah, probably size. We're the warriors because I think we have a big heart. We care for people. Um, and I think we, you know, we'll die for each other. Why do you think um, the Tongans are the warriors of the Pacific? <laughs> 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 That's why. Fox. That's why. <laughs> That's why. No, I don't think he's Tongan. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're not Tongan when you do that. <laughs> why do we see these great players play for Tonga? Because it's where their heart is. Even though there's a lot of money involved in the other countries, but this is where their heart is and it's just not the same until you play the own people. Like, I've played for Australia. And all great people, all great blokes, but it's just not the same. I think we look back at you know, our people back in Tonga that didn't have much money, and now we're, we're kind of rushing the money now, and now we're paying for those people. It's all about our people and giving back to our little, um, you know, little island back in Tonga. Our parents all made a lot of sacrifices, it's just our little uh, sacrifice you know, to give back to them, to show uh, you know, how grateful we are. They moved over you know, to Australia or New Zealand or you know, wherever they moved and you know, gave us a bit of opportunity of life. You know, we grew up you know, with our Tongan values and the way we... Um... Can we start it again? <laughs> <laughs> I loved everyone here. Well, one guy didn't brush his teeth today and it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel unbelievable, mate. The atmosphere, honestly, was like an origin match, to be honest. You know, the way the, the crowd really got into it. They sung the Australian national anthem as well, and they just showed so much respect for both teams. It was really good. I think it's just a chance for us to not only represent ourselves and our family, but um, something that's bigger than us. And, Definitely for, for myself, I chose Tonga because the hard work that my ancestors put in um, to, to bring us here to New Zealand. I want you to come to my cousin's wedding with me to meet my mom. She's the most kindest, um, warm hearted, generous, loving person you'll ever meet. I heard your girlfriend's coming to the wedding. Oh my gosh. Do you know who the pingakis are? No. But like more kale pisupo. It's just like Samoan royalty. What? Royalty? Yeah, like, you know, royalty? Yeah. Queen Elizabeth and Princess Meghan. Mm. Yeah, it's like that here. Yeah. This is my girlfriend, Rachel. Hi, it's so nice to meet you. What does she do? What size feet is she? Does she even do for owls? Who's her dad? Why is she breathing? She's breathing funny. Oh, there's something about the way she breathes. Uh, I really love uh, luau. Luau? It's luau. Oi, luau. Yeah, my mum used to get it from the shop down the road from us all the time. Well, a real some girl knows how to make luau from fresh. Do you know what they call a girl that doesn't know how to make luau? What? A luuzer. <laughs> I love your son. Pick up two. I don't care. Pick up five. Why are you jealous of me, Mr. Tan? I will not let you jeopardize the integrity of this family. Oh, last card. Shame. Woo, woo. Shame, Mama. You want to come in and have some? No, 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 no. It's okay. I'm actually on a strict diet. Please, please. Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> Who 
Will you marry me? Yes, I'll marry you. <laughs> Time for another break, Freshies. And make sure you come back or this guy will eat your breakfast. <laughs> yes, I'm all game. <laughs> you all game? This Are you all game? Ram Bone. Ram Bone. Ducks, what's that song you know with the ukulele? Um, you could do it, put your back into it. Nah, that's called drums, the ukulele one. Oh. Somewhere over the Rambos. <laughs> That's the one! Yo, thanks for coming back, guys. Josh and Knox here with the mighty Mate Ma'a Tonga. Woo. So these guys love a great laugh. So what this part is all about, is about laughing, bro. So let's go and check it out. It's called Fresh Tings. And welcome back to How Fresh Are You? And here on my right, oh. from My More Music, you've heard them, ladies and gentlemen, we have Perry and Katerama. Yeah. And what's the name of your team, guys? We're Team Hi! Team Hi! Now, over here, we've got some of Samoa's finest. Yeah. One half of it is the man himself, nine to five, and Mr. Hip Hop himself, Paul Weddy. Yeah. And what about you guys? What's the name of your team? We are Team Coco. Oh, oh, team Coco. What amazing two teams we have today. But we're going to start with our game, Rapid Fire. And now our first question. Use the word game in a fresh sentence. Yes. I'm all game. <laughs> you all game? This close. Okay? What about you, Peter? Your mama came to see me last oh! night. Oh! Yeah! Oh! Wow! <laughs> I think I got the last one. Oh! Yeah. Hey, who knew that you were gonna came up with yeah, that? Wow. All, right, all right! It's really heating up in here. The next one is which musician had a backup band named after something you could put bottles in? Yes, Shafu and a great. The crate? What a great answer. Thank you. Okay, next to our next one, we're going to go to some of the flags of the Pacific. And our first flag is. Peter? Jamaica. The Pacific? <laughs> yeah. Papua New Guinea? Oh, it's, it's very close. Kiribati. Not far. Vanuatu. Yeah, there you go. Hey. Vanuatu, yeah. Now, our next flag, this one might be tricky, but it's going to be hard. Um. Tim Coco? I'm gonna take a guess at this one. I think you guys been guessing on everything uh, today. Uh, Start with the letter S. What's the second letter? Second letter is just after S. <laughs> S O. Somalia? In Pacific. Oh, yeah. oh Solomon Islands. Oh, Solomon Islands. Solomon Islands. We've got one more game to go. Don't tell me, chance me. Here we go, Pere. Oh, well, your I first one. Country. Uh, oh, and your minute starts from now. Some more. Oh, right. First oh. one. Tonga. Oh, 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 Johnny, yeah. Johnny, 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 wow. Oh, my oh, last one. Uh, uh, ooh. Wow. <laughs> Got um, it up. Let's go, Penny. Oh, Katerabu's onto it here. Uh -huh. Wow, it's a chicken. <laughs> it's a rooster. <laughs> it's a rooster with a sore eye. Oh, <laughs> rugby player. Oh, rugby, uh, Tongi, you Oh, win. rugby. Five seconds. Four. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Now we've got Team Coco and who's yeah. dancing on behalf of... Whoa! Checking one for the team. As you will see, Nains has a little injury, but that's not going to stop him from trying to get one point for his team today. <laughs> Your minute starts now. Damn, what's this one? <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, oh, one down, oh, four oh. to go. We got it. Oh, oh, these guys are too good. 
Ooh, Compton. Inglewood. Um, Otaro. Um, uh, America. Oh, America, USA. <laughs> wow. Uh, wow. Please pass to, to another one. <laughs> it's it's uh, kind of looking at It's a children's program. <laughs> Altero. Ah, uh, New Zealand, that's the last one, the last one you're going through when you're grinding something. That's the one. That's the one. Wow, here. All right. Wow. Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> Adding up all the scores, we have our winners today. They are Team Coco! Congratulations! And we've got some amazing prizes for our winners. All thank you to Tiki! It's just one pack for you guys. All right, just Chucky. Another one here. Thank you. Congratulations! So that's us. Thank you to Pere, Katerama, and also Team Coco, Names and Poetics. That's how for say you. See you next time, same place, same things. All right, yeah! Next week, you're here in the kingdom of Tonga for Miss Pacific Island. Malo. You're welcome. That's us for today, Freshies. From us and the MMT squad, offer our tool and keep it fresh. Support and local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.